everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna go over this product I purchased the other day, which is an overlay for your keyboard to speed up your editing. So let's get on with it. So the Apple keyboard that I have in front of me is the wireless keyboard, uh, but it's also the European version. Now, you can get different ones, so you have to make sure, because on here, the return key is different to what you would get with something in the US, for example. So the product itself is this very, very thin piece of sort of plasticky material that literally just has the keys uh, the keyboard shortcut, sorry, for Final Cut Pro printed on the top of it. And you can just see the back of it is just plain. There's nothing on here. Now, they also do this for different applications, not just Final Cut Pro 10. So I'll just show you this up close. Now, to install this overlay, all you have to do is slide the overlay over the top of the keyboard and then just slide your fingers across the top and the overlay drops onto the keys. Very easy and very simple. So what I'll do, I'll actually show you this in action. So what you can see in front of you at the moment is my SPG case review. So I'm gonna use this as a bit of demo footage to show you some of the shortcuts. So one of the commands I use quite a lot is snapping. And what I would normally do is go up to this uh, section here, the icon, click on that to turn it on and click on it again to turn it off. But now all I have to do is actually press the keyboard shortcut. So all you have to do is press the N key there. And as you can see, it turns it on and off. Now, I know over time I will get to know these keyboard shortcuts, but for now, it's nice to have that sort of graphical representation on the keyboard. It just makes it easier to remember. Now, another one that I use all the time is Command and the plus key. So as you can see, that zooms in and out. Very handy, very handy and very simple. Also, we've got the previous edit. So if you press that and it actually takes us back and we can go forward and you can see how quick it is to get through all the different things. Now, one section I use quite a lot is color correction. So on the keyboard, if we hold down the command key and press one of the numbers along the top, we can get different things. So if you press the command key and number six, you can see it brings up color correction and we can now do what we want with that clip. And then when we wanna get rid of it, all we have to do is press the command key and number four and you can see it's gone. So you can just see straight away how quick it is now using this overlay to get the editing done. So I just wanna thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button just above. You can also follow me on Twitter at MattSaundersMCP and I will catch you all in the next one.